Hey, good people. This is the Confessions of a Nail Tech podcast. I'm your host, Rashida H. Muhammad, nail tech affectionately known as Ra. I have so much to share with you this evening. Welcome. Let's get started. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Merry, Merry. Happy holidays and all. I missed you all so, so much. And guess what? We made it to the end of the year. Clap it up. No scrapes, no bruises. And I truly do hope you're in good health for the new year. And uh, I, am, I am beyond excited to be back and to be sharing what is new with you. Uh, listen, I got my nails done over the weekend. And let me say one thing. I enjoy being the client now. I do. I am still a nail technician by trade. That's never going to change. But guess what? This nail tech has found a nail tech. (laughs) This is a never ending cycle. Like who's the mailman's mailman? So who's the nail tech's nail tech? Well, I want to give a huge shout out to the nail techs over here at Five Star Nails here in South Carolina. They do an amazing job, and I mean amazing. And it's good conversation, too. The atmosphere is so relaxing, and I always feel embraced. Um, I never make an appointment, even though I probably should start. But they always accommodate me, and it is always a good time, and my nails are always great. Um, Sometimes I go in there for petties and my SNS. Yes, I trust them doing my SNS. So that that tells you if I trust you to do that kind of service on me, oh, you have a client out of me. And they do a really wonderful job. And it doesn't matter who you go to in the salon. They all do a really great job. And yes, so um, the pedicure and the SNS. And actually, before we get into the episode, I challenge you. Yes, you to go get your nails done, hear me out, pour into another salon if you don't do so already, and just start the chain of good deeds. And I promise it will return to you. That is my nugget. If you don't get anything else out of this episode, pour into another salon the way you would want a salon to pour into you. And the reason I say this is because it can help with relationship building amongst nail salon business owners. Sure, playful competition is cool, healthy competition is cool, but you just never know. So plant the seed, okay? I know I have a rose-colored outlook on the industry now, but I started doing these kinds of things on my own time, and I realized, it took, it took some time, but I realized how important it is to build those kinds of relationships amongst others in the industry. And I say this until I'm blue in the face. Remember, another nail tech is your friend, not your competition. The plan is that we all make it because believe me, there is room for everyone to thrive. Everyone can spread their wings and not hit the next person spreading their wings, if you get what I'm saying. This is a multi-billion dollar industry. There's room for everybody. All right. So we're going to take a quick break and then we're going to get back into it because the name of this episode is From Nail Tech to Client. And I played with it because it's the holidays. So think of it like a gift tag. This is my gift. From Nail Tech to Client. All right. We'll be right back. random thought. Do you remember your first full set? I mean, your first full set you ever did on either yourself or someone else. Mm. Yeah, I <laughs> I knew then that I was destined to be a nail technician. Hear me out, hear me out. So my first full set was decent because I did it on myself. And I knew that I could maintain or maintenance any of the flaws. So if I, you know, drilled too much off or if there were dips or grooves in the acrylic or, you know, just 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 regular maintenance things or if I broke a nail too soon or, you know, 
So on me, I thought it was pretty decent. I'll probably link a picture somewhere on my first full set. However, my first full set on a client. Ah, uh, well, wait, okay, so in my defense, <laughs> in my defense, it was during when I was still training to be a nail technician. So I was still in nail tech school. Um, shout out to Miss Duffy. I don't think I've ever shared the story of Miss Duffy. I'll come back to that because this story may go on a lot of tangents. But shout out to Miss Duffy at the Everyone Bosey's Harkness Workforce Center out in Cheektowaga, New York. That's if it's still there. I know uh, Bosey's went through a facelift. So um, shout out to her though. Miss Duffy was awesome. But um, this was during lab week for. Uh, the nail technicians, uh, aspiring nail technicians at the time, I, that was me. So um, <laughs> it took me hours. And when I mean hours, maybe two and a half, almost three. Well, maybe not two and a half because that was the entire class, but it took some time. <laughs> and I couldn't finish the nails before the clients left. And I'm saying clients like they weren't my friends, but um, I was supposed to do nails for two of my friends. And again, huge shout out to Taniqua and Saida because you two are the MVPs. Y'all are the GOATs for um, supporting me early on in my career. Um, and even then, you all, they were so supportive when I couldn't even finish the full set, the full service. Um, sure, it was a free service, but I was so embarrassed with how long it took. Oh, gosh. And... And how thick the acrylic was. <sighs> I was embarrassed. I, it, I can laugh about it now. But back then, again, I, w I was so embarrassed. I say all this to say, you never know how, as a client, how you will affect a new or aspiring nail technician when you sit in their chairs to be serviced as a client. All right? So having been the nail tech and now speaking as a client, I can say that I have way more patience when it comes to a new nail technician in the salon space. Um, this is kind of a tangent because again, the topic was for you actually no, this is kind of right on par. Uh, yeah, this is on par. We're going to keep this. Um, uh, so when it comes to a new nail technician in the, in the salon space, I have a lot more patience. And I can usually spot a newbie or an aspiring nail technician as soon as I come in. Or because I'm talkative and I'm friendly as a client, it gets revealed during our conversation, our little sit down, when a new nail technician is either doing a pedicure or um, a manicure or a service on me. And that's the part, you know, earlier in the in the podcast, I mentioned how it's important to build these kinds of relationships. And it is. It's, it's important to build these kinds of relationships amongst your profession, so other nail technicians in the industry. But it's also very, very, very important to have this kind of relationship with your clients, you know? Um, Sure, that also equals a lot more money because they're going to bring more people to you and they're going to be a faithful client. But it's in these moments where it's not about the money. It's about looking at the client and also the nail technician as people, as a person. Yeah. So, yeah, it gets revealed to me during those kinds of conversations or those heart to hearts. Um, and so over the weekend... I went to get my nails done at Five Star Nails here in South Carolina, and I have had the pleasure of having my nails done by almost every nail technician who works in that salon, okay? Including the owner. And I have nothing but great things to say about my, my, my experience. Uh, they have a, 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 a rewards points card where after your uh, 10th or 11th visit, you get $10 off of your service. I mean, I take it, but I always also, always give it back in tips or what have you. But I think that's a great part to extend that relationship as a way to say thank you. And then also, when we go into the salon, sure, it's to re escape from work. But you also have to remember that these nail technicians, and I'm saying it from both, 
Now technicians are also in there to make money, but they are also in there to kind of escape with you because they are your pilot, so to speak, on your, uh, they navigate you through this oasis of relaxation. I, I, I might coin that. So yeah, as a nail technician, we pilot that. You know, we're responsible for how comfortable you are when you come in the, in the salon. And so again, the atmosphere, the aroma, it doesn't smell harsh like acrylic in this salon. And that was something that I took from years ago when I worked in a salon that didn't do acrylic nails at all. Um, I enjoyed being able to come into the nail salon and smell aromatherapy rather than harsh chemicals like the monomer or the polymer even, or sometimes even just nail polish. I don't smell nail polish either. And I used to love that smell. I still do, but it can be overwhelming when you don't smell it as often anymore. Um, so when it came to coming in as a client at this nail salon, and mind you, this has probably been my 13th or 14th visit since I've been. And each time it's consistent, each time my nails are always beautiful, they're perfect. And I don't think, this is probably the first time that I did not reveal I am also a licensed nail technician. I don't remember, or maybe they just picked up on it because <laughs> I always bring in my own dip powder. <laughs> and it's nothing against the salon at all. It's just, I have particular colors that I like and I don't wanna spend time wasting on searching through the palettes that they have available or looking at the wall of polishes. I, I look at it from a productivity standpoint now that I'm kind of outside of the salon, but I look at it at productivity. You imagine you have a walk-in and you're trying to squeeze in the walk-in in between some appointments and the walk-in does not know what color or even what kind of nail they want that slows down productivity. It does, because as you're trying to service and squeeze this walk-in in, they're busy looking at taking 10 minutes to pick out a color, taking 10 minutes to wash their hands, taking 10 minutes to find a matching color. So for me, I try to make it easy. I even take the polish off my toes before a pedicure. Like I try, I try, I help them help me. <laughs> so now uh, this is from Nail Tech to Client because I'm, speak, I'm putting my nail tech hat back on. And if you are a client or aspiring nail tech listening right now, help out your nail techs when you actually do go get serviced and pour into these other salons that you're visiting because that truly does help speed up the service. It does. I know some people are looking at the phone right now like, ugh, Ra, why would you say that? I'm saying it because I'm human. And sometimes it doesn't cost you anything to help out your nail technician. You know, I'm even one of those people who may or may not floss before going to the dentist. Yeah, I just try to make it easier. I think about time. I think about how much it costs for someone to come in to your salon and not know what color they want and take 10 minutes picking out a color. That used to drive me nuts. So as a client, I try not to do that anymore to my nail tech and I come in prepared. My, pulp, my my toes don't have polish most of the time. Let me not say that. I, I okay. Let me let me recant that. I know I'm I'm putting my foot in my mouth a little bit, but um, when I can remember, all right, I do take the polish off my toes, and on some occasions I also remove the dip the SNS off of my nails too. And that's on the rare occasions, like if it starts to chip or if I just don't want the color anymore, I'll take it off myself and then just go in flush for a new set a new product new nails it does make the it makes the process a lot faster um because if you think about it a pedicure a deluxe pedicure that i usually get that's anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes just on feet just on the feet and then you also have to take the acrylic off of my nails so that's another 15 minutes so already I've been in the salon for an hour and five minutes just on removing my nails and getting my feet done right just productivity okay and then after that has happened I spend another 30 minutes getting my nails done so I'm in the salon for an hour and a half to two hours for both services. You know how much quicker that goes if you remove your own polish and acrylic before you go get your nails done? And I, I'd only say that because I have had the unfortunate 
incident where some women will come in during their lunch break and expect those two services in 30 minutes or an hour. And it's like, listen, babe, that's not going to happen. <laughs> that's, that's not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> and I, I, I laugh about it now, again, because I'm not in the salon space as often as I used to be. And these are things that I'm looking, I'm an outsider looking in now with the knowledge of the insider. And these are some of the nuances that took place in the salon that used to drive me nuts. So again, now as the client, I try not to drive my nail tech nuts because I understand. I can empathize with you because I get it. I know. And with that, we are going to take a quick break, pay some bills and get back to it. Ciao for now. Now, with the holidays coming up, I know the salon is going to be packed. Uh, I am asking you to have patience with your nail technician this holiday season. And if you can, you know, if you can, if you have one of those early appointments or one of those late appointments, look out for your nail technician, whether that's a snack or a beverage or just good energy to take the pressure off of the holiday season being so busy. I had a chance to, this is the first year in many of me being the client during the holiday season and sitting in the, on the other side of the, uh, the, of the manicure table and just observing, you know, this season of my life, I get to observe nail technicians um, and again have a different set of eyes looking in on the industry now from this side of the table and that's one of the things I really appreciated about my clients because they took care of me um, and I'm not saying you have to but I really appreciate it you know my client bought me a cute Christmas gift it was a nice scarf for Christmas the one year um, they also would bring in breakfast or like donuts from Krispy Kreme or coffee or just little knickknacks you know, toward the end of the year. And I think that's something that I want to do to pay it forward because we are hungry. <laughs> we are hungry during the holiday season and we don't get a chance to eat often. We have maybe a quick a quick energy bar, or a Nutri-Grain bar, or a quick handful of trail mix, or even a bag of chips sometime in between clients. And usually, this is usually the time of year, uh, the holiday season, and also uh, spring and summer, so wedding season, and uh, just being the summer, we don't get a chance to sit down and eat often. So if you can, think about your nail tech. Uh, I know I have some aspiring nail technicians, and even some seasoned nail technicians like myself, who are on the other side of the manicure table and are now the clients. But I'm also challenging you to, um, if you are supporting another nail salon, to also just look out for them this holiday season. Bring some people with you to pour into the business and maybe, heck, bring some Krispy Kremes with you or bring some coffee or just if you have that kind of relationship with your nail technician send them a quick text message and say hey uh, are you hungry i'm gonna stop by so and so and pick up such and such and wanted to make sure that you ate today like those things go a really long way they really do and it's appreciated so as i'm speaking out loud i'm thinking that's something that i, I want to pay forward with my nail technician because during thanksgiving um, I went in and again, I always bring my own dip powder and I had the powder, but I could not find the matching polish and they had the matching polish, but not the powder. So it worked out for us. And we sat there and we talked for the entire service about our plans for the holiday and what we usually do for the holiday. And there's really something about this time of year that brings people together and it is a healing in the air. And I don't know what my nail tech was going through, but this is probably the most she ever uh, let me in on on her personal life before. And I thought it was nice. It, it really felt good being on this side because, I, you know, I've cut my teeth. You know, I've, I've, you know, I've 
done what I needed to do when it came to being the nail technician and working this time. But again, this is the first time in, in whew, the first time in 10 years where I get to just be a client during the holiday season. And these are things that I'm thinking out loud to show appreciation for your nail tech or anybody in the in the beauty industry who has to service clients when, you know, this is time where you also have to be preparing for guests to come over or you also have to be preparing to be the guest when you go back home as a traveling, uh, as a nomad like myself. And these are just small things that I remember doing and appreciating when I was the nail tech servicing someone during the holiday season. So if you can, just find it in your heart to be kind, be nicer, you know? Yeah. So we're going to take another quick break and then we're going to wrap up. But this is from me to you. Happy holidays. Before we get out of here, of course, I have to do my shout outs because again, Without you, without my listeners, subscribers, there is no Confessions of a Nail Tech podcast. And I do this to show gratitude and I hope you tell a friend to tell a friend about me. And I just want to give a huge shout out to my new followers, Trey Bella Nail Supa, Tarot with Treese, hey girl, hey, uh, Jennifer Cohen, 246, Dr. T Podiatry. Hey, I love it here. Self Love TL, TLO 1130. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Pretty Nails and Spa underscore two. Hey, hey. Polished by K underscore Little Beast underscore Jade. Hello, welcome new followers. We want to give a shout out to Dave 25449. Hello, hello, hello. And also, I- I want to give a shout out to Premium Nails because they actually were the first to give me a shot at brand ambassadorship as a nail technician. I was fresh out of the salon and I shared this story a lot in season one, but they have been rocking with me and supporting me for a long time. So shout out to Premium Nails. Check them out if you can. Um, Shout out to Sunshine underscore Nails underscore 801. Hello, Ashley Cornelius one, Job British one, and last but certainly not least, Lashed by L Hollywood. Hey y'all, welcome to the village. I am so appreciative to have you here. Come on in, come on in, look around, touch stuff ask questions, and let's continue to share the support on this support train and follow train. So you heard it from me. I want to give a huge shout out before we get out of here. Thank you so much. Because again, without you, there is no Confessions of a Nail Tech podcast or Nails by Ra. Be well, good people. Thank you for tuning in to the Confessions of a Nail Tech podcast. I've been your host, Rashida H. Muhammad, Nail Tech affectionately known as Ra. Make sure you tune in next week, Tuesday, for our next episode. Looking forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, subscribe to the Confessions of a Nail Tech podcast and make sure you stay in the loop by following me across the board on social media at Nails by Ra. Also visit me at www.nailsbyra.com. Until next time.